What is up guys, it is Nick. Good morning everyone. Uh, hopefully I'll get this up in the morning. It's 9.48 right now, so I'm going to assume we will, but we've got a lot of things to go over to today. As you see, we have seven tabs open. The first one is just this, so I can copy and paste it. All the tabs like normal will be in the description if you want to read any of them. I've been making great progress, learning more about Black Desert, so hopefully the videos will get better as we go here. Not these videos, because these are what they are, but my own videos in general on the Sork, Nova, and many other characters we happen to start at any point in time. But let's get into all of this here. Starting off, we have the known issues. Nothing super fun here, but there's all sorts of different rendering issues, certain circumstances that you couldn't enter your residency. I mean, it's just a bunch of small issues that are still ongoing. Here are all the ones that they fixed. Most of them have to do with quests and, and, and like minor life, quality of life fixes. If you want to read all of them, obviously you can see there is a ton of them. I'm not going to read every one in specific because we'd be here forever. So, I yeah, if you want to read it, it'll be the second link in the description. The first link will be this home page that you can come to and see everything. Um, and click on it as you like, and then underneath it, I'll have it listed what exactly everything is. But it's mostly quality of life issues, issues that not everybody would have. Um, yeah, it's just pretty much a lot of that stuff. And then up at the very top, these are all the ones that they still need to fix. These are the fixed issues. These are the ones they need to fix. So pretty simple. Moving on, we have issues regarding certain rewards and events quests, more issues, this one's shorter so I'll go ahead and read it. Following the May 12th uh, maintenance, we have confirmed issues regarding certain challenges, rewards, charred rock fragments, and the Ancient Spirit Dust rewards, the attendance rewards, as well as the event listened to Lara's request. Currently, the aforementioned challenge rewards and the attendance rewards cannot be collected. Furthermore, we will work on these issues, the event, the event listened to Lara's West has been restricted. We plan to resolve these issues during the May 14th maintenance. Further details regarding the maintenance will be shared via separate notices. So that'll be Friday. It should be all fixed and ready to go by Friday morning, I would guess. Uh, so not too big the deal there, but we'll move on to guild members assemble. So I don't do anything with guilds right now. I did when back in the day, like a year ago when we were doing this regularly. Now I'm returning to it, so I'll probably need to find a guild eventually here and join one so I can take part in this. So, starting May 11th or 12th, depending on what region you live in, and ending May, uh, well, it says before May 25th or before May 26th, so depending on, you know, what region, it'll end in one of those. So, Guild missions by size, so you'll get a different reward based on the guild mission size. Small, mar medium, large, and extra large. Um, and then the guild funds exchangeable for them. 5.7 mil for the small, 9 mil for the medium, 11 mil for the large, and 14.5 million for the extra large. Um, yeah, not too much to this event, but a guild event nonetheless. Um, event notices, items that have been given as an event reward may have restrictions in trading or selling and may have an expiration date. Items given in this event may be family bound or character bound. Please check item before using them as they, uh, may vary depending on the item. Items that are character bound cannot be moved or switched. There also may be restrictions on sales and use of items as well. And then we've got all the reserves, the rights, and, and legal terms. I mean, I don't think I need to go over those. Those are at the bottom of most of these. Okay, no greed, just good deeds. Another event for us. Um, the general goods vendor of Heidel, Lara, is in need of assistance. She needs to make sure uh, make a series of items and is hoping that adventurers can help her out. Lara will be reward will reward you for your good deeds. So there is no time like the presence to become a good Samaritan. So this starts today, the 12th in the NA, 13th in EU and Asia, depending on your region, and it will end before May 25th or 26th, depending on your region. So challenge reward, someone's letter. We're doing the someone's letter again, okay. But here we go. Laura, here are the various quest objectives. Make 10 pickled vegetables, um, and it gives you all the ingredients to cook. And then the quest reward, you'll get a seal of good deeds. So here's all the various things that you can cook and give to Laura to get one seal of good deeds. 
So moving down here, what you can trade them in for, one seal good deed is worth one memory fragment, seal good deed times five is worth a memory fragment bundle, 10 to 20, so definitely want to get at least five. Um, seal of good deeds times five is also an ancient crystal of nature, adamantine, uh, five massive or yeah, massive pure magic times one, 10 of memory fragment bundle, 20 to 50, probably worth taking the risk at 10 because the bet you're the lowest you're going to do here is the best you can do here with uh, 210. So you definitely want to save up till 10 or you can get a value of the Volks plus 40. Um, you can also exchange these items after the event period. So that's good. You don't have to if you, you know, have some left over and you forget, you can always exchange them after the event is over. Um, the challenges are available once per day per family during the event period and will reset at the following times. I'm just going to say the NA one. That's 5 p.m. Pacific, so that's 8, 8, 8 p.m. Um, Eastern, which is which is what I live in. Okay, so moving on. More like terms and conditions. I mean, deleted rewards cannot be recovered, stuff like that. I mean, stuff at the bottom. Usually not. I mean, it's super important if you want to, like, get technical, but it's, it's not super important if you're just, like, a normal player that understands how things work okay so next we have um hot, another hot time event so this starts the same 11th in the na 12th in the eu and asia weekday hours it is 3 to 10 pacific do the fractional you know time change difference for your region i mean yeah and then on the weekends it is friday 2 p.m to 2 a.m on monday so that's pretty good um Continuous at 60 hours, pretty much, and then the weekdays is seven straight hours. Fairly good times. Um, I'm not. I mean, I'm not huge in the at the hot times, but they usually are happening when I'm playing, or they're. I mean, I either play in the early morning or I play at night. So um, usually the afternoon, I'm not playing. But I mean, it gives you uh, plus 100 combat XP and 30% skill XP, and then you also have a higher chance to obtain shark black crystal shards and hard black crystal shards on all servers including arsha and olivia so moving on to our second to final one we have the patch notes so we have the tier one no war changes um to help ease players into no wards a tier one node war uh, maximum apdp system uh has been introduced tier one nodes can be goal to be can be a goal to achieve for new guilds the new max ap and dp restrictions have been added to make node wars more accessible for new and experienced guilds we hope this allows more adventurers to enjoy node war systems tier one node wars are separated into easy medium and hard levels each with their own unique ap and dp restrictions which is nice i i kind of like that i like um balancing it out so that different guilds you know there's people like me who like to make a bunch of different characters and play through them get them to 60 or 56 even mess around with their awakening a little bit and, and then play a new character and have fun you could you could uh reasonably have a character for node wars like my sork i think my sork now is like i have it pulled up over here but so let me take a look i think my sork so my sork would be good to go for this except it's six it's five dp so it's 244 to 95, so it's close enough. But yeah, it's nice to have tiered, and it, and it also means that it's healthy enough that they have enough people to tier it, so that's always good. It means the game has enough people that they could tier it and not have to force everybody to play the same one. Um, tier 1, easy, medium, hard, no wars, damage reduction rate is as follows. 7% for easy, 9% for medium, and 13% for hard. Tier 1, no wars will have a maximum HP restriction of 5,000 HP. This maximum HP restriction will decrease every 20 minutes by 500 until the no war is completed. Obviously, there you go. Um, tier 1, easy, no wars, they will run Monday at Crone Castle and Sunday at Treant Forest. The medium will run... Let's see, Sunday, Coastal Cave, Monday, Elder's Bridge, Sunday, Wolf's Hills, Thursday, Whale Farm, Wednesday, Northern Guard Camp, Thursday, Southern Cienaga, uh, Sunday, Alejandro Farm, Friday, Bloody Monastery, Tuesday, Marnie's Labs, Tuesday, O's Pass, Monday, Keplin Vicinity, Monday, Bear River Head, Bear River Head, and Tuesday, Bear Downstream. The Hard Node Wars will run Friday, Iwas Hill, Wednesday, Tuscany Farm, 
Wednesday, Southern Neutral Zone. Friday, Watchtower. Tuesday, Brady Fortress. Thursday, Contaminated Farm. Monday, Kuruto Cur Cave. Sunday, Northern Abandoned Quarry. And Wednesday, Longleaf Tree Forest. Celestial Horse Calling Horn is said that Celestial Horse's tears can be found in Krogdalos Trace. These tears are represented, represent, or resp, oh, I can't even read, resplendent embodiments of sorrow and yearning roared out by Krogdalo when the three children are do not, are doing it, are doing not. Dying and Doom left Cana Sylvia. You can craft a Celestial Horse Calling Horn by processing a Trainer's Flute Permanent and a Celestial Horse's Tears. Celestial Horse Calling Horn is imbued with the roar of Crocodalo and can summon horses to nearby, nearly any location with a few exceptions. You cannot use a Celestial Calling Horn in locations where you cannot summon mounts. Examples of areas where you cannot summon mounts. Uh, Red Battlefield, Battle Arena, Ariana of Arsha. Achman Temple and Hysteria Ruins and etc. It's a bound to the character. Um, let's see here. Added a daily quest reset at midnight. So here are the various different quests that they added. Um, and then the rewards. Contribution XP, Antanas Confection. Contribution XP, Antanas Confection times 2. And a Selectial Horse tier. So you need to complete this. This quest down here, now I don't know if they go in order, but you'll need to complete the highlighted quest to get that Celestial Horse tier. I'm assuming that's the only way you can get it. Next, content. You can now unlock mount skills in the mount window, excluding guild mounts. That's actually fairly nice. Uh, lock skills will persist even in the event of the mount dying or ship being destroyed when checking it into a stable or wharf. Flying skill cannot be unlocked. Horsers, Spirit, Two-Seater. Uh, change practice lynch cannon so that its area of impact will be marked on the world and in game the area of impact will be marked for approximately 20 seconds the mount skill change coupon will now show the success rate of changing a horse's skill that's always good uh, added success rate details as a premium horse appearance change coupon guardian hashin and nova costumes have been added to the glorious shudad classic set Fix an issue where classes which could not get the glorious shoot at classic and premium sets was being shown in the description as they could be attained. Effects of event, magical, elixir, and droughts will now replace each other when used. Nice. Character changes. So, the upcoming update on May 26, so that's two weeks from now, will include a comprehensive balance patch that will make improvements major and minor to every class in Black Desert. Not only will this update include PvP changes that are already live in the Global Lab, but it will also include PvE improvements that are currently in development. We hope you are excited as we are for the upcoming changes. We hope you guys are excited as we are for this class revamp. Currently, our development process is working to improve all classes at the same time rather than focus on a few characters at a time. I like that. That's a good decision by them. Since this is more time consuming, it's taken us longer than expected, and we ask for your understanding regarding the longer than expected delay of these long-awaited changes. We are coming through the improvements, or combing through the improvements we've planned, as well as the feedback left by ventures on the official website, in order to ensure carefully considered changes to this upcoming update. Your feedback and those of all adventurers worldwide have been invaluable in this process, so please keep sending us your feedback as you traverse the world of Black Desert. So, yeah, that's nice. They're going, I, I would assume, maybe temper your expectations for May 26th might end up being like the 2nd of June or the 9th of June. So we'll see. Always sometimes am a little concerned when they push something back that they'll push it back again. So I like to temper my expectations and I'll expect it June 2nd or June 9th. So they fixed some issues with skill add-ons not being applied as intended. So that's just, you know, quality of life fix pretty much. And then we have the buff effects, instantly recover X, so yeah, no this different stuff debuffs effects pvp av increase all dp decrease all ev evasion accuracy and rate so all different you know debuff and buff effects being tinkered with so we have a couple of changes to skills for various characters core blasting and prime lava piercer for berserker Vo voltic or voltaic Pulse for Witch, Core Spirit Hunt for Dark Knight. They also fixed an issue where certain skill add-ons were not applied correctly. Maywa Absolute Divider, Prime Divider 1. Uh, if you've learned both skills, using either will now activate Prime Divider, so that's good. Archer, Mountain Breeze, Righteous Fire, Konoichi Kunai Block. Most of these are just issues or slight improvements. Uh, Valkyrie, Black Spirit, Sanctitus Day, and Slar. 
fix the issue where the Black Spirit's Rage was not consumed in certain circumstances. Guardian, Jordoon training, and then all the various trainings, <laughs> one through five, they made adjustments to. And then there's an actual breakdown to the actual statistical levels that they changed the Jordoon's training, one, two, three, four, and five, from max hits three down to max hits two. It looks like they actually nerfed it a little bit, so interesting. Um, and then we had Searing Fang, Infernal Steps, Amua Circle, and Amua Circle fixing an issue, all for Guardian. Uh, Hasashin, Halady Throw fixed another issue. Royal Fencing Fletch, an issue fix. Sage added core skills to Sage Awakening, that's good. Impaling Flash Flow, Integrated Altor Spear. It's weird that they listed it like this instead of in a table. And then they fixed an issue. Uh, quest knowledge, quests and knowledge, uh, a simple test for Alustin. This is alchemy quest, so there is that. It's a bonus, and then let's see here. Depending on what you craft, you get a different level of reward for alchemy. Um, you'll be able to select one of the below listed awards along with um, 500 contribution XP. Moving on, items that trigger a bonus alchemy quest. I, yeah, this is a really big table, but all of this stuff right here, you need to be at least skilled or one or higher for these top ones, and then professional one or higher for the middle, and then artisan one or higher for the bottom, and then over on the right side of the table, artisan one, artisan five for the middle, and the master one for the bottom. Um, Let's see here, oils that trigger bonus alchemy quests, all sorts of different oils, these are all different alchemy quests. If you want to know in specific, I would check out the article. I'm not going to read every alchemy quest item. And then they made some UI interface changes, uh, quality of life system fixes, other changes down here. I don't think there's anything big here. Um, descriptions of the fairy skill change. Yeah, these are just a lot of quality of life things um oh that's nice for the pearl shop it shows that the the time frame at which they'll be available yeah this is just a lot of a lot of quality of life good fixes and and you know issued fish fixes that they that they made changes to so that's good moving on to our final part long video today lots of stuff to go over is the pearl shop update so this starts May 18th, and it doesn't... Oh, no, until. The following is items will be on sale till May 18th, May 19th in the EU and Asia. So we have selection for one silver, a special discount coupon, I believe. Yeah, you can only buy one per family, so you can get a mount discount, weight, inventory, pet, apparel, or... I don't know why there's two apparels. Um... I don't know why there's a 10% apparel discount coupon, why you'd buy that over the 20%, but that's okay. The volume items will be on sale until May 25th, so that will be right here, right before um, the 26th maintenance. So we have the Spring Ultimate Pack, this is 40% off and contains uh, upgrade materials that you'll need. Um, and then we have, oh, we're going to have, wait, there's a Mystical Artisan's Memory Bundle, so you'll open it and you'll get one of something here something here probably you'll get one of you know 40 memory fragments uh 120 crone stones or like 20 to 35 artisan memory pretty much tell you that's how that's gonna work um then we have more upgrade stuff this is 40 percent off arson memory vox cry crone stones memory fragments moonlight shards and advice of the volks then we have a spring sale value pack 30 days pretty self-explanatory there we have the double blue tiger plot pack. So this will give you for 40% off, you'll get two. Actually, is this three? Oh, no, you'll select two of the blue tiger premium set and the blue tiger premium set for the ninja and Musa and then the premium outfit pack event. Um, you'll also get a secret book of old moon and an item collection increase. This is similar than the rock to the rock Shande pack that we had the other week for Maywa mystic and witch. Uh, and then we have the double Karen pack. Same thing here. You'll get the same as up here, as well as two of the Kareen premium sets for Ranger, Sork, Tamber, Valkyrie, Maywa, and then an event premium outfit pack. You get a new adventurers pack, 200 pearls, 
um, aliens, tears, crone stones, extra combat XP scrolls, and extra XP scroll skill scrolls. New adventurers pack. This is just kind of a really cheap and small upgrade pack. So now we have the glorious shoe dad pack. So this was added um, for warrior, ranger, sork, berserker, tamer, musa, and valkyrie. It was not in the game for those characters previously. It is now. It's 2720. Not my favorite looking outfit set, but. That's okay. They added glorious. Okay, well, they added glorious shoe dead premium set one, two, and three. All consist for different characters. Shoe dead premium set two is Meiwa Wizard, Witch, Konoichi, Ninja, Dark Knight, and Striker. And three is Mystic, Lawn, Archer, Guardian, Hasashin, and Nova. And then they added the Shy Glorious Shoe Dad Classic set back at a discounted price. You can also buy the Celestial Horse Spirit times one for 750 pearls. You can buy the Calling Horn Permanent for 2250 if you do not want to do the quest. So that's interesting. They also... Uh, is this adding the Kareen Premium set? Let me look at the Sork. I'll pop it up on screen here in a second if it is new. I don't actually know. Is, is this new? I'll know if it's new because I... Well, I'll kind of know if it's new. Uh, uh... Actually, I do think that's new. I'll pop it up on the screen real quick. Let's switch over. Switch over to that. There's the Kareen set for my Sork. Um, probably won't be buying that. There's the Glorious... Why is it showing the... There's the Sork. I mean, I'm just... I, I'm just not a fan of that. I like the cape. If I could put, like, the cape on some other sets, I would like it. But, I mean, it's... It's fine, but it's just... I'm not gonna... not gonna do that. So that's all. That's it. That's the that's the stuff there. I guess we can look at the blue tiger. I'll pop it back up here. We'll look at the blue tiger real quick. That's on sale, and then we'll call it an episode. The glorious uh, shoe dad for some of these characters looks really nice, and it, like this for the the ranger is pretty nice looking. Um, I don't think I'd use it for the tamer. The moose is not bad. The Volk actually looks fairly decent. I kind of like the Volks. But the Volk has, like, plenty of other stuff that I like way better. So I don't know why I would do that. So let's go to the Musa. We have the Blue Tiger. And, I mean, they're all the same. I mean, there's the Blue Tiger. And then who was the other one? Who was the other one that got the Blue Tiger? Uh, Where is it? Is it? Dude, where is that set at? Is it, like, way up top? What the? Where was it listed? It was Musa and who? Musa and Ninja. Okay, so let's go back to Ninja. Ninja, Ninja, Ninja. And there, there is the Blue Tiger right there for the Ninja. So, I mean, fairly decent stuff added. I'm hoping that May 26, with all the balance changes and whatnot, we'll get some crazy other updates as well. Like always, guys, the links to all this stuff will be in the description for anything that I skipped over and didn't fully read that you are interested in. Or if you just want to recap it and look through it. Uh, links are always in the description for every single one of these articles as well as the homepage. So I will catch you guys later. There should be an Idle GOG video up at 8 and then I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video. It'll either be probably Sork or... Sork or PSO2. But I'll see you guys then. Peace!